Peacock released the first official trailer for this three-part miniseries coming later on this year for the Continental. I'm going to take a look at this trailer next. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? It's the outlaw John Roca here. Excited to be diving into this first official trailer for The Continental. This comes from the world of John Wick. It's a three-part prequel series that will start on September 22nd on Peacock. It's being produced by Albert Hughes of the Hughes brothers uh and he's directing the first installment and the third installment it's going to focus on the character of winston scott who's going to be played by colin woodall uh, taking ian mcshane's place and he is going to be starring alongside mel gibson mel gibson is playing this ruthless kingpin named cormac i imagine at some point winston's going to betray him or figure out that cormac's trying to use him and usurp his authority and take over that's what i'm guessing uh and that'll lead to him uh, purchasing the uh, chain of hotels there known as the continental which we've seen as global uh, and turn it into a haven for housing uh, assassins there. So very much looking forward to this one, seeing what we're going to get. I like that it's only three parts, which means you're in and you're out. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into this trailer, see what we got, and see if it uh, you know li lines up with what we want to see from the world of John Wick here uh, on the Outlaw Nation. Let's go. The suit doesn't make a man. That's what's inside the suit that counts. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. It's resourcefulness. And perhaps an open heart. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, I haven't finished my drink. This sacred institution. So who's doing the voiceover? Beyond your imagination. This is American. Winston, your brother stole something from Oh, me. there he is. So maybe he took is very important to a lot of very dangerous people. This is the table? Fine. Oh, wow. Because if you don't, I'll bring the weight of this whole institution down on you both. Sharon. Show our guests the door. Yeah. We made a big mistake coming here. You're my brother, Frankie. We have to strike first. Wow, the Twin Towers. And I need all the help I can get. How are we supposed to believe a guy in an ascot can pull this off? <laughs> it's a cravat. <laughs> if we're gonna take on the Continental, every freak in that hotel will be after us. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. We need guns. Lots of guns. Oh! Yeah! Of course, martial arts, son. 70s. This is more than vengeance. This oh, hell yeah. Justice. Can you dig it? <laughs> oh, let's take this house and everything that comes with it. Oh, there it is. And away we go. All right, I like it. I like it. I dig that. Um, interesting. So it seems to hinge on this relationship with his brother. So clearly he's a guy who's loyal to the people he cares about. We know that about Winston from the uh, series there with how much he has kind of bent the rules and bent over backwards for John Wick. So uh, good to see that that's an element of his from the beginning uh, of us getting to know him as a character here in this show. So I, I think I was wrong. I don't think he's working with Cormac. It clearly feels like Cormac is the villain of the piece who's going after uh, uh, Winston's brother because of something uh, Winston's brother did. Is that related to the table? Is that related to some key he's taken? Is there something important that he's acquired here? And it seems like this is Winston getting together with all his people who are around his same age going after the old dog, uh, the old criminal dog there who is running the Continental. 
mantle and taking it over. So it looks like we're going to get some awesome fight sequences, some great action sequences, uh, some cool lines, some smooth moments, um, and some badass fight stuff, uh, a fight choreography going on in different environments. So all of it looks uh, really, really cool to me and interesting to me. And it has a possibility of being cheesy, but it also looks like it might understand exactly what it is. And the production value looks good to me looking at this for only a three-part series. I like the expansive look of it. I like the uh, the weapons that they're using, the, the myriad of different fighting styles that we're seeing and the different locations that we're seeing all of that in. So I like the overall vibe and feel this thing. It understands what it is. It understands it's going to entertain you, make you laugh, but also have some pretty hardcore uh, fight sequences for y'all to enjoy with some moments of, hu of humor probably thrown in to the middle of those fight sequences uh, as well. But overall, this is, seems like this is about Winston finding his way to acquire the Continental in a hostile takeover in this battle with Mel Gibson's Cormac, who only gets, you know, a few lines and a, a few moments in the, uh, in the uh, trailer, but uh, clearly is going to be a, a presence and the villain and the antagonist in this piece, for sure. The girl with the mask and, um, you know, the different uh, characters that we're seeing, the, tor the places where he's being tortured, where is all of this? How deep does this go? And are we going to see connections to all the characters that we've seen already in the franchise, which will be fun for big fans of the John Wick franchise? So, what do you think? Do you like it? Is this cool? Does it feel good? Did it feel funny? Did it feel like a, the, uh, that it was going in the right direction? Uh, it did, did it feel cheesy or did it feel awesome? Uh, did you like the look of it? Did you like the costumes, uh, the the dark overall tones that you're seeing here uh, in terms of uh, how they're shooting this thing uh, and some of the funny moments? Did it all work for you or did it not? Let me know down in the comment section below. Hit a like on this video, share it on your social media, and you know, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. Come into our Continental, the Outlaw Nation Continental. Check in and hang out with us for a while and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. And if you want to support all we got going on here uh, on the channel, and support everything we're trying to do here on the channel, head on over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash John Roca, and uh, pick a tier that works for you. All right, the Continental coming out September 22nd. Put it on your calendar, and I'll talk to you next time with a brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation. <laughs>